Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge, all my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Today is chilling and grilling and we're making pot roast and mashed potatoes and spinach. All your favorite stuff, right Tom? Yeah, maybe spinach. You don't eat mashed potatoes? Or pot roast? No, I mean maybe spinach, not so much. Oh, gotcha. oh. Well, yeah, that makes oh, sense. Husky peas. <laughs> How about you, Joe? You like all three of those? Things? I love all three of those things. Okay. So, before we get started, we're first going to give our shout outs for the week because that's. Oh, all right. I guess I got, need to tell everybody, huh? Yeah. That the only way you're getting shout outs now at all for me is going to be on Chilling and Growing. Not giving any in fan mail anymore. And a lot of you guys might be like, why? Why aren't you going to? Because this way, it makes it kind of fair. Because before, see, what I was doing is I would go check out your channel. And maybe I didn't agree with it, so I wouldn't give you a shout out. Well, this kind of eliminates that whole thing. So it's it's not even a matter of my opinion on your channel at all. It's going to be if you did a chillin' and grillin' meal, and you took a picture of yourself with it, and, and one of us picks it out. Matter of fact, Joe's picking out one, Tom's picking out one, and I'm picking out one. So you guys need to hit us all up on Twitter, because Joe, you only got like 461 followers, I noticed. You mean I have 400, not only 461 followers, but... Compared you have to you, no. compared to you, <laughs> sorry. Guys. No, no. What I'm saying is, they have a better they, chance to send you a picture. They do, because you know, better chance of getting picked. That's what I mean. But, <laughs> but say, you know, so you guys need to hit him up on Twitter, or else you know the odds are better to send you a picture. That is true, naturally. And then, you know, same thing. Hit us all up with the pictures. We're all going to pick one out, and we're going to do this on a weekly basis. This week, I wasn't so. I guess clear on the rules and I think we kind of forgot to say. Yeah, there were a couple things omitted that we're going to address, but first, the shout outs that did win this week. I wasn't done. I, I, I we're gonna I give the shout outs first? Yeah, I, yeah, all right. I can't waste that transition, it was okay. a really good one. All right, so, <clears throat> let me take my glasses off because you know I have to. The first one is you, yeah, Joe. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, yeah, excuse it, me, it, uh, I'll just throw this away. It's right. uh, Ghost Games, uh, that's the Twitter's Ghost Games with a Z, capital G's, 33. Um, great job. I appreciate the uh, the picture. And Tom's is the second one. Yep. Uh, Josh Kala at jkala9. It'll be appearing, as we say them, right at, right about like here-ish. You're going to put them on the video? Yeah. Okay. Nice. And Raymond, because you know, everybody, everybody loves, loves Raymond. Raymond. At, TV show joke. At Real Steel. 3879. These are all the Twitters. I mean, none of you guys gave us a YouTube channel that, and we, we'll tweet out, not tweet, we'll, that was stupid, wasn't it? We'll shout out your uh, your YouTube channel. So remember to put that, if you guys send this picture, make sure that you actually put down what you want us to shout out, because or else we're just going to shout out to Twitter. Now, there's been a lot of confusion on this, so we're going to just kind of clear this up now. First of all, this last one, what we did is we allowed all the previous chilling and grillings, which you guys missed a really easy opportunity to get a real easy shout out. You really did. Yeah, because Tom did chilling and grilling, and he did a grilled grill cheese sandwiches. Yeah. And you could have been super lazy, taking 10 minutes, and two grilled cheese sandwiches, put it next to your face. They could have just did one. They could have did one sandwich. So I even just a shout out. You could, a yeah, and I guarantee that Tom would have picked grilled cheese sandwich because that's like one of his favorite things to do, right? And it was your video that you did, so honestly, probably I guarantee you would have picked that or mac and cheese. You would have probably picked mac and cheese too because it would have been a toss up there. What? Anyway, what I'm saying is, is that that was the first one, so you guys could have picked out anything, and and it's something as simple as that. But you guys missed that opportunity, um, and you know it's probably Tom's fault. Uh, I was going to say mine, but no, I think it's Tom's. No, it is mine. I should have been more clear with the uh, the rules, don't you think? You can't pin that on me. You gave me the stink eye? Because you can't really? pin that on me. Really? I, was... I saw it from here. He yeah. definitely gave you the stink eye. I know. Eye. I felt like pain on this side of my neck. <laughs> Got real cold. I wasn't yeah. even in the intro last time. It's true. That is true. We can't blame anything on you, except for the editing, right? And there was no problems with that, was there? Yeah, that's pretty smooth. Nah, you did a good job. All right. So, let's, <laughs> let's give the rules from here on out. The rules are, it's really pretty simple, don't you think? Pretty clear. You 
Our meal today is pot roast, okay? And we're gonna have spinach and mashed potatoes. But you don't have to make mashed potatoes spinach if you don't like that stuff, but it does have to have the main ingredient. Right. Pot roast, okay? So, do it your way or do it our way, it doesn't really matter. But you have to have the plate of food and you in the picture. Now, you have to be in the same picture, no Photoshopping. Yeah, like Raymond, I let him go because we didn't get a whole lot. So yeah, we didn't I let, get very many. I let him go because he was off in the corner and it was obviously a separate picture than the meal. Well, yeah. <laughs> but it was an hour sandwich, we know that. So we let him go for that one. That's okay for the first time. We're gonna be more picky on the next ones coming up. Cause I really want you guys to have a chance for a shout out. I think this is a good chance. And I think it's a good opportunity for me not to actually look at your channels and stuff and give you a shout out. It's up to the viewers whether they wanna actually sub to your channel or not. So, so remember from now on, it's this Tom's week's- clear it up for you right now. This week's chilling and grilling. Tom's got it Picture of yourself with this week's chilling and grilling for next week's shout out. Right, and at least the main ingredient in it, right? Yes. Okay, so having said that, I, were we really clear on all this? You think? I think we were clear. Uh, when you we say main anything? ingredient, you mean like the main, like for example, with the a cheese thing, it dish. could be like a chicken cheese thing, just a main. Yeah, but we're not doing cheese thing. Don't confuse uh, it with I'm the just saying. Yeah. We're, stick with the pot roast. You said ingredient. I mean like the main okay, well, concept. Stick, okay, but this week the is pot roast. The focus of the meal. Right. This, this week is pot, pot roast. roast. So you have to do something with a pot roast. You know, well, yeah. if you put your twist on it, that's fine. I'm all about that anyway. But the, the, the main ingredient, which is pot roast, right. you know, the potatoes, you can put potatoes in there because we add potatoes, but you know, something that's gonna catch our eye and, and everything and- Make us pick you. Yeah, and like I said, you guys gotta hit them guys up too because we're picking out three and they're, each, each person is picking out one. So there yep. you go. I don't think I can be any more clearer than that, right? No. I think it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, and make sure if you want your YouTube channel shouted out to Let us know. tell us you your YouTube that channel. With yeah. the picture. So we They'll put it on the picture. That'll just take up space. Yeah, we kind of tweeted out to everybody that won, right? We just we just <laughs> did note. like about 10, 15 minutes ago. Watch, we probably all have messages with our YouTube channels on because they only they didn't give us their YouTube channels. No, so but we, we just, didn't specify that before. So no, that's I know. Unfortunate. Yeah, Tom forgot to tell us to say that. Well, you can see people can make a meal next because you know it was all put my idea. YouTube channel in and then we'll get a shout. Out. Yes, if you want a YouTube channel. But don't make a grilled cheese sandwich because we're not going to pick that. Because <laughs> that's over with. As you've already said, this week's chilling and grilling for next, next week. week's shout out. Right. And that's how it's going to be from now on. Right. And they're the only shout outs that's going to be on this channel anymore. That's it. Yep. That's it. That's how we came up with this plan. And I think it's a pretty good plan. It's not that hard to do. Okay. So in the meantime, after this 20 minute intro, we're going to get started. The ingredients we're going to need are... Pretty easy too for this. We need salt and pepper, some vegetable oil. We're gonna use two cans of beef gravy. Camels. You can use different brand, it doesn't really matter. Beef gravy, one can of tomato sauce. Small can, it's only eight ounces. One big ass onion. That's a good looking onion too. Joe's my cameraman right now because Tom's not home. Just want to let you know, you can't talk about it. Uh, I wasn't sure. I was nervous. It's my first time. <laughs> then we're going to use, I'm using certified Angus beef bottom round roast. And this is, uh, let me see, two point, almost two and a half pounds there that we can use. You can use a bigger one, but it's just going to take more time. This is going to take about four hours. We're going to put it in a crock pot. So now we're going to get started. First thing you want to do now is, after you get the cans open, put your gravy in here. I should have probably got a spoon, huh? That would have made too much sense, right? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's a work in progress. So you get that in there and turn your crock pot on high. Get that started to heat up in there. Now, if you don't have a crock pot, you could probably use a, uh, you know, like a, I don't even know what you call that, Dutch oven pan, like? Dutch oven, yeah. yeah but people would probably more likely have a crock pot than a Dutch oven. Yeah, most people do, so. And they're not that expensive, so I recommend getting one for stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, cookers are great. And then just put put a lid on it and let it just go now. And while we're waiting for that, the tomato sauce is going to go in later, so we're going to just put that aside here. But what you want to do is get your salt and pepper on your meat. And you're going to pepper it. I'm also going to turn this over too, but I just want to show you guys what you're going to do, right? Put some salt on there. I could touch it with my hands, but I don't really feel like doing that. I don't think we need that. Yeah, make sure you take that off. Yeah, and 
when you we're going to sear this but what you're going to do first this is of course salt and pepper it right now you don't have to put a ton on there get your pan in the front and put it on medium and you're going to get that hot when that gets really hot then we're going to put some oil in there about two tablespoons and then we're going to sear the meat so now you're going to put about two tablespoons in there i'm not going to measure it out i'm going to guess right and what you're going to do you're going to take this meat and make sure first it's fat side down watch the oil joe in the kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> it. it didn't get the camera there, so I dodged the camera. It slipped out of the tongs. Right? That's right, I'm sure. Notice it went towards you? Yeah, it slipped out of the tongs like I put too much pepper in your cheese that one time. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh huh. You're gonna you're gonna do this so that you wanna get it brown. All, not black though. You don't wanna burn. And it takes a probably a few minutes on each side. Okay, like, if you turn it up back up, I don't wanna get yeah, burned again. Go still. You can actually push it down a little bit too. The reason why we're doing this is we're actually searing the meat. Why, do you know why Joe? Uh, to keep the juices inside. Exactly. There you go, you see how it's right so down there? Okay, you want to look. It doesn't take real long, but you want to do all the sides, even the end. This is actually how we want it to look on all the sides. See, it's, it's not black, it's just dark. That looks delicious. Can we eat it now or do we have to wait? Oh no, we have to wait. It's no. like four hours in the crock pot. Well, that seems a little ridiculous. I'm starving now. <laughs> I know, it's kind of hard to like <laughs> smell that when yeah, you're hungry, right? right? <laughs> Should have ate lunch. Oh, fill yourself up with some beer. Yeah, right? Alright, so as you can see, not it's pretty close. much like that on all oh. the sides now, right? That looks unbelievable. So now, just, we're going to plop that in here. And that gravy, let it sit there. As you can see, yeah, that looks good. All right, now, now for the fun part. I'm going to actually turn this off for now, and Joe is going to chop an onion up. Oh, here we go! And I'm going to show you the magic we're going to do next. Hey guys, we have Larry doing the camera work now. Just in case you guys are curious, what happened to him? That's right. Joe's going to show. How to cut an onion up, which yeah. everybody should know by now because we've done it a ton of times. But this, you're, you're not mincing it or anything. You're just going to cut like some big pieces, like not gigantic. You know, because when we eat them, I don't want to choke on one, all right? So we'll see how Joe does on this. Yeah, so far I'm doing okay. I have this tilt coming off. I was a little nervous at first. And as you can see, I want to show this real quick. This is the new piece of equipment I got. I'm going to go over to this side and show. For the so it, I got this specifically for chilling and grilling. It's great. I mean, it's so convenient to have right and, here. Yo, guys, check out that nice. No, well, not. That's not a knife. That's that's a good knife. No, I was going to talk about the Avon. Ah, my bad. I put it all right <laughs> away. Right, a little chilling and grilling action. Chilling and grill, let's see. Oh yeah. The knives are nice too. It. Okay. Yeah. Don't cut your finger because they're probably really really sharp. Because nobody wants blood on their uh... No, and we need the whole onion this time, not like last yeah, time. Yeah, they could be smaller than that though. Oh, I'm going to cut them down. Alright, you had me scared there for a second. Nope. Cut them in quarters. That nice sharp, isn't it? Yeah, it's unbelievable. It cuts right through without any problems whatsoever. It'd probably cut your fingertip right off too. It would, without a doubt, cut my fingertip right off. Larry, you think they're a good size? Are a little bit smaller than that? A uh, little bit smaller on the big ones that you have. I there. think just these ones are the big ones. The rest of them I think are pretty good. Yeah. The edges are a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's probably good, Jeff. And then we're, what we're going to do here, I'll be switching the camera to Joe after he's all done chopping. And then all I'm right. going to show you the next step, guys. We have to turn this back on now. Of course, we don't want to blow up. So now, instead of medium, we're going to turn it to between medium and low. It all depends on how your stove actually cooks. Mine cooks really hot. So we're going to take the onions that Joe cut up there, and we're going to put Watch that, the oil. Yeah, we're going to. Put, oh, oh, damn it! What? <laughs> 
<laughs> they went everywhere. <laughs> we don't have any more onions. You can't but cut none that out. on the floor. So we're gonna throw all that stuff in there, except for the one that's way down inside there. <laughs> you don't want to burn it yourself. No, I think I still can get it though. I'm gonna. It's like, uh, do you ever play that game operation? operation. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Should I move this pot? That help? Oh, he got it. I got the funny bone. He's the man. I got the funny bone. So anyway, put them in there like that. Yeah. <laughs> and do that loud noise. But you see this brown stuff that's on the bottom here? That's actually flavor right there. Flavor town. Yeah, so you're going to cook these. We're not cooking these onions all the way through. What we're doing is we want to see all that brown stuff off the bottom get onto the onions. And that's when we're going to transfer. Actually, after that, then we're going to put this in here. And then when it bubbles, we'll put it all in the pot. You can see that the onions have picked up all the brown. Let me show you on the bottom. See how it's off the pan on the bottom? It's all loose now, right? So what you do now is take your tomato sauce and we're going to dump that in there. And you're going to let that go in there until you see it start bubbling. I'm going to mix them up. Look, I would eat that just right there by itself. Doesn't that look good? It smells so good. Yeah, I know. It's a shame there is not like smell of vision, right? No, right. That would make this a lot better experience for everybody. So let that go. And as soon as you see that bubbling, dump all that into the crock pot. We'll show that. You can see that it's bubbling now, so grab yourself a pot holder because that pot's hold. Uh, hold. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. I hope that manly uh, pot holder don't doesn't burn you. It is pretty manly. It's, it's dainty. It? It's dainty. Yeah, yeah. About as sensitive as your fingers. Yeah. I shouldn't have had it like that. I should have had it like this and so couldn't see. It, <laughs> yeah. Well, too late. <laughs> so now just take that and pour that in there over your pot roast, and get all that stuff out of there. That's good flavor in there. It's flavor down. Can't yep. let it go. That's right. It's important. Okay. Now, let me turn this off. Try and try and mix this up a little bit with the gravy in there too. And you are going to cook this now for about four hours on high. But having said that, you're going to have to get off there. You're going to have to. About like every half hour to hour, go in there and turn that meat around. Just in there. Mm. Put a lid on it. Make sure the lid's always on there because you don't want that stuff to evaporate out of there. And then put your timer on. Four hours. That's a long time I'm holding the button. Hope your finger doesn't cramp up. I can't remember if this goes in hours or, or minutes. It's gotta be, <laughs> it's gotta be hours, right? Oh, I would think so. Hit 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 minus and uh, minus at one time. Yep, minutes. Okay. Or hours. <laughs> <laughs> Just confuse the crap out of me. But anyway, so we're gonna do that. That's gonna sit there. In the meantime, we're probably gonna have a beer, whatever, chill, wait, because the mashed potatoes that we're gonna make and the spinach that we're gonna make is actually about an hour before it actually gets done. <laughs> Sorry, I actually came out. Did I say it? <laughs> like That's times. only one time though, is it? Well, three times in that sentence. It might have only been once. I'm just messing with you. Ready? Next step, we got to get our potatoes ready because we have like an hour or five minutes left for the pot roast. It takes a while for the water to start boiling. We got to peel five pounds. We're making five pounds of potatoes because guess what? I didn't tell you guys this. We got a couple guests coming for dinner. So we got to have plenty of food. Extra potatoes. So we're doing five pounds of potatoes. Now we have one, two, three, four, five people. I like a lot of potatoes. I One pound food. is a lot per person, yeah. but. Like a lot of taters. I like a lot of potatoes. A lot of taters. Garlic, we don't need this much garlic, but I just brought this all out. I have a special way to, to peel the garlic. Yeah, uh huh. We'll try that again. And we have. Butter. Butter. Salt. I'm not exactly sure how much I would have used in that <laughs> shit, so I put two of them out here. <laughs> we're gonna get started and we're gonna peel these, cut them up, get them in the pot, He's start boiling. Them. Bam, bam, bam. We're gonna go. go. Ready? Ready. Here we go. We're gonna peel now. You wanna go ahead and start? Yeah, since you're better. You than should me. be faster than me, really. Why? Because I'm younger. You have more hair. No, because your potato. Look at your potatoes pose of mine. How many peels did I just get on the floor? Well, I'm trying to. Keep I don't want to see any brown spots on that potato either. All right. Hold on. Let's move it around. Choosing your way. No, it's just I'm not getting good angles and it's not focused. And if you if you drop the potato in the trash. <laughs> You lose, you lose a point, all right? 
And if there's any blood on the potato, all right, I'm done. Well, that's good. I'm not. Mix the potato off, put it in the pot, get another potato. <laughs> you want me to peel that for you? No, I got, I got this one. Fun games to do at parties. Yes. So we're gonna peel potatoes. We're gonna peel five pounds of these potatoes, and then we'll show you the next step, guys. We're gonna show you how we cut up the potatoes, even though I'm sure you've seen it like how many times, but we'll do it real quick. You wanna make sure that you cut up your potatoes what, Joe? In cubes? <laughs> no, you wanna make sure that you're cutting them up in even yeah, size. Yeah, so cook evenly. Yeah. So, I like to cut them small, because the smaller you cut them, cook really actually quick. the faster they're cook actually really gonna quick. cook, right? So just cut them in. Oh, that one's gone. So, you know, that gone. was like, that was some potatoes you just lost there, right? One little bit. Yeah. And then we're going to cut them in this size. Look. See yeah, that? Yeah, I got them all over. All right. Dump them in the pan and we're going to cut all these up. I believe that's a pot, not a pan. I said it to him earlier and I still didn't listen. You know what? Both of you guys need to just knock it off. And Joe, are you going to pick that potato up off the floor? Or are you just going to leave yeah, it I'm going to leave it there until it? afterwards. All right. Until one of us steps on it? No. Are you trying to say? <laughs> until the camera sits off. Joe, what happened to your apron? It's it's on. You must have forgot. I huh? forgot it. I forgot it. We've been busy. You're out of uh, out of uniform. Out of uniform. I had to go home. You're being sent home. So it was funny because we just kind of all of a sudden we're like, where's our aprons at? We forgot. Them. We didn't have them on for the other take either, did we? No. No, there's like two takes and which is no apron. Ever since Tom came home, he discombobulated us. Right. Are you still on the same potato? No, I'm, I'm like 15 in. 15? Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot to go back and look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm a little uh, sketchy on that one. What do you think, Tom? There's only one left. Is there? No, there's one on the left. Yeah, I was going to say, there's one But the ones I'm cutting are bigger than the ones you're cutting, so. Yeah, I don't think so. They get a little slimy, though, don't they? They do. They're a going a bit harder to cut, huh? Probably because there's no water. Watch these knives because they're really, really sharp. Yeah, they're really you know? nice and they're cutting through. So why are you cutting them that small anyway? The smaller you cut them, the faster they cook. And the thing is you want to kind of like all the same size. I'm sure that Joe's is probably like... You're probably a little bigger. Let's see. Let's, we'll just reach in and say, <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that a whole potato? I think it is. Well, the good thing about potatoes is you can't really <laughs> overcook them. Once you boil them to be mashed. That is, that is pretty much true. So cut all your potatoes up. Take some people longer than others. That's not a big deal. You know? It's true. As long as they all get cut up and you don't cut your finger off or anything like that. That's the most important thing. Yeah, speed is right? not necessarily a friend in the kitchen. Right. Precision is. No, right. Unless you were on, uh, what's that show called? The Hell's Kitchen? No. Is it Chop? Chop. 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 When you have a timer going mm -hmm. off on the whole time, yeah, then that's a little bit different. Then you better be fast. Right? I probably cut myself in that show. Cause you only get like I, I don't even remember how much time you get on that show, but they have the only problem with that is you have bizarre ingredients yeah, like to octopus. use. Yeah. Like what? Octopus. I guess that wouldn't be that bizarre, right? Cause no, calamari. Not a, not a, no, it's not. Calamari squid. Squid. Squid and octopus are two different things. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> they both live in the sea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so as Joe fishes for the, is that the last potato? I, I haven't been counting. How many did we peel? That was the one with the spot. I was going to say, did you cut like half of that <laughs> potato and then throw it back in? I'm really not cutting them small enough. All right, I'm, I'm going fishing for potatoes in here. Probably the only thing you catch this season. No, that's not true. Hey, you know what? I'm going to. In this time right now, I'm going to mention how me and Joe are starting up this thing. Are we going to do that start this weekend? Yeah, I'm down with that. Well, depending on the weather. We're starting, yeah, if the weather's crappy. I know Tom doesn't like me introducing uh, new things that we're going to do. He's shaking his head no right now, but I'm doing it anyway because we are definitely starting. I've already talked to Joe about it. It's good to go. The funny thing is, is that he does the editing, so he just cut this part right out. Yeah, I know, and he probably will. And then I'll smack him around. Yeah, people don't know that about me. I smack him around off camera a little bit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are actually, we are going to, not actually, but we are going, going to, to. No, we are actually going to do it. 
start doing a new program, a new video series. It's a new program. New program. That's from yeah. 1963. <laughs> Tommy, you have a microphone? Yes. All right, you scare me sometimes. <laughs> We're going to be critics. That's it. Go to different restaurants. We're going to go, and they're not going to be like expensive restaurants at the beginning because we want to see how this video is going to, this, this series is actually going to take off. We're going to be going different places and critiquing food on a scale from one to ten coronas. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to start local and work our way out. Yes. And see Spread how it goes. Because there's lots of places to eat. So we're going to we're going to try that. We're going to go there. We're going to finish. If you want. Take it to a About time to something. Did you make sure that all the potatoes are yes. actually They are actually gone. Actually gone? We're going to be starting a new series. And I, I think we're going to start at... Uh, you know where we're going to start. Dodgers, right? Yeah. Dodgers we're going right. to start there first and critique their best food that they have going on that day. And we're going to just see how this goes. And I think it'd be kind of fun. I think so, too. Yeah. I mean, fun for us. We're going to eat good food. We're also up to do some challenges, too. Yes, I'm down for any challenge. And Maybe not any challenge. Should I rephrase that? Yeah, you should. <laughs> Could you grab me some garlic? Because I actually want to show them... Just Damn, one clove? Man, you got me so messed up with that. <laughs> Why are you looking at me for? I didn't bring up the first Tom's time. Tom's looking up that at was the Tom. Tom's looking up at the heavens right now. It's like that's ridiculous. I have a, go ahead. Here's how I do garlic, right? You can do it with a knife, right? You smash it like that. The peels come off fairly easy as opposed to some some method that some actually these are the same as the other ones. It's, it, maybe it's the garlic and not me. This is different garlic. You okay. sure? No, I'm not. Because it's peeling the same exact way, which is not. Proper. So what on this, what we do is we just cut off the ends of this after you peel it. Take that and just throw it in there with the potatoes and let like that, that boil up. Yeah, just cut. Yeah, there you go. And we're gonna do. We're doing. Yeah, if you could show Tom like how many cloves of garlic we're doing there, we're doing about that much for five pounds. It's up to you how much you like garlic or not. I love garlic. I love garlic. So. That's what we're doing. We're gonna boil, and then we're gonna put it on the stove and start boiling it. Now it's time to take the four hours is up now, so we're gonna take the meat out. Cause after a meat has a vigorous workout like that, it kind of needs to rest a little bit. So put that there and take some foil. You don't want it to get cold. It's not good when your meat gets cold. Put it over it, you don't have to put it real tight, and let that rest for about 15 minutes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? Hey, uh, some hungry people here, that's what we got. Yeah. <laughs> Check the potatoes now. Potatoes look, looks good. We're going to start on the spinach now. Which let's let's go over the ingredients for the spinach, Tom. Real quick. Oh no no, we're not going to start the spinach yet. We're actually potatoes. going to spinach the potatoes before we do that. So let's do the potatoes. Smash the potatoes. Do you want to uh, drain them? Drain I, them would, I would love nothing more than to drain your potatoes. Okay, there you go. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that at all. I bet. Sometimes I make things awkward. Do you have a strainer? No, we use a lid. Uh, do you know how to use a lid, Shram? I do. I, I've seen. I don't want to mess this up. It's potatoes. hot. Is it hot? Do you want me to do it? No, no, yeah. yeah I, I don't do. want potatoes. I actually, I want you to do it. I've lost potatoes already today. He's feeling too much pressure, guys, on the, on this one. So I'm gonna. Sorry, if it makes it feel any better. I messed up just putting butter on bread. See, uh, that's way easier than yeah. I can't get much worse than that. Did you mess up corn? That's why you were like, mm, it's a little, a, little, a little skimpy on the butter, I think you were saying. We're a little too much on others, I forget what it was. You see, my onions are too is, that, is that when I burned all the rolls? Yeah, that's what you burned them all. Well, oh, that's why I don't remember that. <laughs> and I had more butter than wouldn't have Exactly, that's what you're saying. You never said that anybody else would have rolled for it. We'll cut all this part out of this video, okay? They're bashing me now, so we cut that out, Tom. <laughs> Got it, no bad publicity. <laughs> So there we go, our potatoes are done. Now we are going to add a whole stick of butter. You want to cut it off for you or put it in there whole? I'm just going to put it in there whole. Because it's going to melt in there anyway. 
So I'm actually going to put. I'm actually. Damn it! <laughs> going to put a lid on there to let it actually melt. <laughs> oh, no. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I told you. Once it comes out, it's like 102 times the rest of the day. It's, oh, that's a shooter. It's like it's like one my, it's one of my few words in my vocabulary. Remember? You have like five, four syllable words. Yeah, that's true. Yep, good. Four. Huh? Yeah, I'm on it. Is it actual <laughs> wool? Yeah, four. Child education at its best. <laughs> so we're just gonna let that butter <laughs> melt right now. I didn't put this in the ingredients. I forgot to put it out. You did. I told yes. you to put it out. You didn't want to. You're gonna need milk or half and half or whatever. I like half and half. I'm gonna pour some in there. Don't get carried away in it because you can always add it, but you can never, ever take it away. And there's salt and pepper somewhere around here. And the same thing with salt. Don't get carried away with salt because each individual person can put salt in it, right, if they need it, but they can't take it out of it. That's for sure. Anyway, did you want to do this? Did you want to do this? I would, I would love to. I would love to get more. Right, when a flower tries yeah. to behave. Thanks. <laughs> the only thing that keeps me young. Jesse, come on now. Don't take that away from me. I prefer actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I feel bad now. That's not time, right? You're going to need some more yep. cream in there. Get it creamy. Yeah, I took the lid off and I can't find it now. Is it is it potatoes? It's on top of the it's on top of the creamer, dude. Oh, Come I put it back. On, man. <laughs> That's pretty That's bad. So ridiculous. Until your eyesight's not young. I, I know that. Mm. Now I gotta watch all my vocabulary because I can't use any words that might be hip. It's called vocab, not vocabulary. My voc my vocab. I gotta watch my vocab. It's vocabulary in the eighties when you were in school. Mm -hmm. Early eighties too, right? I shut the hell up. Are you gonna need some more stuff? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, they're too thick. Well, this is exciting. Where's the food at? That's all I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> the only reason we're here. It's, actually, it's not going to take that, I was almost said actually again, but it's not going to take that much longer because... Will you stop focusing on the actually? Um, huh? Will you stop focusing on the actually? I know. The uh, spinach doesn't take long at all to cook. Did you have to get it up? Yeah. It's, it sucks how much it cooks down. Yeah, I know. Right? It's, yeah. it's going to be like... like one the whole bag, pot's going like to be one. filled up and then we're going to look at it and it's going to be like bloop. Oh, yeah. I think we're good. Like, what do you think? Get the bumps in there. Did you taste it? No. Get a fork and taste it. Here, you can use this we one. Okay, it's all you. It's your kitchen. It's a sign that says it. It can be a little creamier. So we're gonna add a little bit more on there. A little more cream? Yep. There you Ooh. go. We may have too <laughs> creamy now. That's a big splash. I am gonna <laughs> add salt to it though. <laughs> Can't take that cream out. No, you can't. I think that's perfect amount, though. <laughs> Working ain't good. No, it is good. I'm telling you, it's like the perfect amount I just put in there. While Joe's doing that, I'm taking an hour. I'm gonna start over here. Yeah, because you know what? We didn't go over the ingredients for the uh, spinach. We're doing one and a half pounds because we have five people. So, I have three bags of this. I have two tablespoons of olive oil, a lemon, which I'm only going to use half of that. And we 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 did what? We mixed like six cloves. Six cloves, I think it was. Six cloves of uh, garlic. So, put six your, cloves of garlic. Yeah. What? Six cloves of garlic. Six. Six. Four to six and a quarter. Put your oil in there. Man, these guys are all getting on my nerves right now. But. <laughs> Put that like medium low, I think, and put your sick glues, glues of oil. Oh. <laughs> glues of oil. Put that in there, and we're, you're not going to cook these until they get actually brown. How many cloves of Corona have you had? We've been sitting here for a long time. It's been, <laughs> we started this at like one o'clock, right, Joe? Yeah, it's, it's a long meal. It's been a long time. 
Because the crock pot, you know, when you're cooking in a crock pot, you have to actually wait till it. It's called a slow cooker, right? Yeah. So we had like three hours downtime. Mm. That's not good. Or I is it? like to drink Corona. I think it's good. So you get the garlic going, and it's only a minute. It's only a minute, Joe. That's <laughs> so quick. <laughs> <laughs> after, after a minute, then we're going to add our spinach. So now it has been cooking for a little bit, but it's not brown. It's been a little over a minute. Which was supposed to be a minute. Oh, it's not brown. Put your spinach in. And if you notice, that's a lot of spinach. And that's only one bag. Start pushing that spinach, <laughs> spinach down in that pot. Damn spinach. I don't know if this third one's going to add actually go in here, Joe. I didn't make the bag. So. No, I know. Oh. Yep. oh, we lost, we lost the leaf. A few. <laughs> and isn't it funny though? Look how much is in there. It sort of cooks way down. We're gonna put some salt in there. Don't get carried away with the salt. Like I said, with everything, you can, you know, individually put your own salt in there. Pepper. You can't go wrong with pepper. And take a spoon. And you're going to try and get the... Oh yeah, this will be fun. Yeah, this isn't going to happen. <laughs> so we're going to let this wilt down a little bit before we stir it. So I'm going to put a lid on it to wilt it down, and then I'll stir it up. Okay, we're just trying to get it stirred up a little bit without dumping it all over the place. I've stepped in here. You can see there's more room now than there was earlier. It'll keep on continuing to wilt down as we get a little hotter and hotter. Yep. Except that one. He's trying to hide down there. Where is that one at? Where are you? Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know how it got stuck there, but it did. It's gone. That it is. We can start slicing this meat up now because it's uh, been resting for at least minutes and this shit is hot I need a fork Joe fork you can slice it up as thick or as thin as you want to I have five people so I gotta slice it pretty pretty thin you might get a half a sliver per person here so Meanwhile, these spinach is on high. high heat now. On high, guys. We're, we're just letting it, stirring it up as it wilts all the way down. As you can see, it's way down to where we started. I mean, look at that. It's crazy, right? What do you two have to say? Megan O'Glare on Instagram. Oh, nice. I'm just waiting for the food. <laughs> <laughs> A little rumbling in this corner is nothing productive. <laughs> Come on, corn. So now we're waiting on the spinach. Done with that. As you guys, it's all the way wilted down, so we're good to go here. Just gotta finish it off with a little lemon. Is it wilted yet? It is. It is wilted. Is this my beer or your beer? That's mine, this is yours over here. You're gonna to wanna to put a pat of butter on that, right? Yeah, and some lemon juice. Get you a pat here. Give me a knife. Yeah, we don't have any knife in here. Yeah. Well. Are you using a real sharp one? Well, it'll cut butter, right? Yeah. Good. Okay. And then we're going to take a half a lemon. And you don't need to get carried away with the lemon. Joe broke the, broke, Joe broke the thing. Trash can? Yeah. We're going to stir that up in here. So now we have spinach, potatoes, and pot roast. 
Now for the best part of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Being cramped on a couch. With your... <laughs> Mm. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Try, try to spinach out? I love everything. It's so good. It is good. It's really mm -hmm. good. I didn't know you were supposed to prepare it cold. That's good like that. Yeah. Prepare it cold? Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> took, us, <laughs> took us so long to set it up. You're like, mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people on a small couch. Oh shit. You don't have nothing to drink? Oh shit. Uh, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Ow, my spleen. Oh. It's over here. There's no waiting. The spinach is actually cold. All right, guys, let's take our seat. Good, good. <laughs> Lab spinach. dance for corn. Ready? Act like I never happened. Jesse, Jesse's back. 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 <laughs> Wasn't me this Is time. it double? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we can spread 